Today is our first day for fundamental of supply chain management class. Yes, I cannot wait to start this class. I really want to know what supply chain management is. I also want to know the importance of supply chain management because it does really which fundamentals of logistics they will have learned last semester. Hurry up guys, we have 10 minutes before our class start. Hi students, good morning all. My name is Puan Sharifa. I'm your course lecturer for fundamentals of supply chain management. How are you today? I hope all of you are fine. We will learn the first topic in introduction to supply chain management, which is the definition of supply chain management. So let's start. What do you know by the terms supply chain management? In commerce, supply chain management is the management of the flow of goods and services, involve the movement and storage of raw materials, of work in process inventory and of finished goods from point of origin to point of consumption. Supply chain management is a set of approaches utilized to efficiently integrate suppliers, manufacturers, warehouses and stores so that merchandise is produced and distributed at the right quantities to the right locations and at the right time in order to minimize system-wide costs while satisfying service requirements. So supply chain management is the broad range of activity required to plan, control and execute a product flow. From accurate raw material and production through distribution to the final customer in the most streamlined and cost-effective way possible, isn't it? Yes, a supply chain is the network of business and people that work together to move raw materials into finished goods and eventually to the end user. This means everything I have purchased is available to me it's because it was a part of supply chain. Believe it or not, the supply chain starts with you. Let's imagine for instance that you love handbags. Your desire to acquire handbags sets off a chain reaction. You either go to the store or shop online to get the handbags you want. The retailer obtains the handbags from the distributor. The distributor gets the handbags from the manufacturer. The manufacturer gets the raw materials from someone else. So all these people, businesses and processes are linked together. They are part of a supply chain that begins with you.